welcome or welcome back to my channel this is chelsea's tower readings and today's video is another requested one from one of my subscribers thank you so much and it's going to be what um spiritual gifts does your person have um and all of us obviously do have uh certain spiritual gifts however a lot of us probably haven't tapped into that yet so what spiritual gifts does your person have? Even stuff that they might not know about. Um, make sure you're thinking of someone. I did do four different piles. This is pile one, or I give blessings. Pile two, I respect, uh, sorry, I regard, I regard all altars with respect. Pile three, I speak with good intent. And pile four, I offer words of good intent. So... Choose the one that you are drawn to. I'll post the timestamps in the description as well as the comments. And if you would like to book a more personal reading, you can go to the link on your screen now. It's very easy to book and it's a video just like this one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please give a big like, uh, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome. And let's get right into so it. So what spiritual gifts does your person have? Um... First, we'll start with the Crystal Mandala Oracle, and we have Discernment. This tells me that your person is actually very good at seeing um, that be uh, beneath the surface of people. This person is good with their intuition. This is a gift that they have, is that they're very, um, they're able to sense bullshit. Like, this is one person that really can sense it. Um, although a lot of people say they can, but this person really can. They can see beneath all that glitters isn't gold. Um, they they can trust their intuition when it comes to people about what they think about people. This is a gift that they have. I give blessings. I really like this card because it shows that this person um, is a giver. If you notice, there's one happy person and there's, well neutral i guess and there's one like sad person and you know they're giving the other person their blessings and sharing it and i feel this is a really important card because it says that this you know they make other people's days better they uh don't only receive but they give as well which is a good gift to have and then lost and found they help people find themselves um, for a, they I feel like they don't realize it, but in a way they help people um, by using their intuition. Also, again, they're able to kind of help other people like guide them as well. So not only finding themselves, but kind of guiding them when they feel lost. Um, and this is something that they also have. This is obviously a really nice quality. Um, and again, some of these some of these qualities this person might not even know about, you know? Or it's something that they don't really pay any close attention to. And we also have the Six of Shells, which is actually relevant to the I Give Blessings card. Because, again, this is someone who not only receives emotionally, but they give emotionally. Um, and it's an equal give and take. It's someone who... Uh, likes to express joy and love with others as well. And this is a gift to have. Um, seven of acorns, determination and stamina. So this person um, is very perseverant. Um, again, they have a lot of stamina, which is good for their goals because they're very, I feel, goal-oriented, like passionate with the wands here. Um, acorns is wands, by the way. And then we have... Um, Knight of Shells, so yeah, charming, passionate, um, and again, uh, with the Knight of Shells, this would be the Knight of Cups, so yeah, this person's intuition is very good, they ha they might have um, a good amount of water in their chart, because usually with water, they're good with their intuition, um, and this person definitely is, and not only that, but we also have the Six of Shells, which is someone who's able to give back emotionally, because again, not a lot of people are a lot of people hold back when it comes to giving their emotions to others and I feel this person one of their gifts is that they're able to kind of share the sentiment and share the joy they like sharing with others um I can definitely see that because again they're giving blessings to others it's not just um them receiving it's they're reciprocating that energy which is for obviously the greater good and like like I said um they help people as well and I feel the reason why they're able to help others is because they have a lot of determination and stamina. And I feel um, 
it's kind of like they have enough to the point where they can give to somebody else. So they have a lot of energy in that way. Like they're able to kind of give other people their energy and their time, which again, not a lot of people are like that. A lot of people will shut people out, but this person is just very giving. And this is uh, one of their really spiritual gifts I see. And again, a lot of passion here um, and they're charming and all around I, I really like the, uh, these gifts that they have because they're really helping and they're also they also really have a high intuition as well um but that was pile one i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys those in of you who one. chose pile two so what spiritual gifts does this person have um or your person <laughs> we have safe to be seen so what this is telling me is that, um, this is from my Crystal Mandela Oracle, safe to be seen as someone who has a lot of, I feel, um, stories and they have a lot of wisdom to share with others. This person I feel right now is um, hesitant. I'm getting the energy for right now that they're very hesitant to be seen or to be heard. They kind of... Um, like shield themselves however um within time they're going to be safe to be seen i feel they'll be able to kind of come out of their shell they'll be able to speak their truth um so that others can hear their their wisdom and others can learn from them um and this is going to obviously help other people which in turn is going to obviously help them spiritually I regard, I regard, <laughs> wow, what an accent. I regard all, <laughs> all altars with respect. So this is saying that if they haven't also developed um, a respect for all altars yet, they definitely will. They'll see the importance in every religion or in every person's beliefs. Um, they might even kind of create their own altar if, if they're feeling, um, you know, driven enough. But I feel... This person is going to inspire others in a way because I regard our, all altars with respect is saying like, you know, being respectful again towards other people, religions, point of views, and altars, especially. Then we have purity. So this person's heart um, is pure. I feel um, it's very sensitive in a way. And... The, like um what i'm getting is always trust in the purity of your heart look inside your heart within it you always find the answer to your question um this is saying to me spiritually that this person has a lot of purity within their heart that they will also be able to share with others and this is a spiritual gift that they have um i feel they're able to offer others a pure insight as well so if you know if they're kind of how you say like if someone's going through a hard time they're kind of able to sim uh, sympathize with this person or other people using you know kind of going and using their heart in a way so let's see what else we have nine of crystals which is security and abundance so another spiritual gift this person has is they do offer a lot of security um this person also is very safe within themselves. And again, I feel like a lot of this is kind of things that people will look up to because it's, again, it's security. It's being like okay with yourself and your past and your emotions. And this technically uh, will rub off on others with the Nine of Crystals. The Shadow, which is the devil. Um, would actually be self-empowerment in this deck and ambition. So this person definitely is very ambitious. They're driven. They have a lot of, um, I feel, self, especially with the Nine of Crystals and then self-empowerment. I feel this person is more of like a huge gift that they have is able to kind of give other people hope or other people um, kind of like passion as well giving them passion as well and the star which is about peace and healing so again this person does have a pure heart so they will help others heal um and they will help others feel peaceful and i feel that you know 
one quali spiritual quality that they do have is they will bring healing to other people. Um, again, using using their heart and really kind of going deep in there and answering answering other people's questions um, with a heartfelt response, I guess you could say. So, um, yeah, I mean, with the shadow card, this person does definitely, like, there's a lot of temptation for this person. Um, no one's perfect, but I definitely see here that they protrude a lot of self-empowerment and self-confidence and spiritually this helps others I feel and not only that but they're able to kind of sympathize with others and help heal other people again whether or not they realize that yet or not um other people might already um but yeah and they're able to offer wisdom as well safe to be seen so they're kind of able to speak their mind and their truths and again for some of them they're probably not there yet but they will get there because they do have a lot of uh self-confidence so that was pile too. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next what one. spiritual gifts does this person have or your person? We have already there is value. I speak with good intent and believe in magic. So we'll start with already there is value. And with this card, this tells me that this person is able to see the value in life. And this is a huge thing. I feel they're able to live in the moment. Um, a lot of people lack that, but they're able to live in the moment. They're able to kind of, again, like already see the value in life. Um, they're able to bridge um, the past to the future, I feel. And I speak with good intent is they're able to speak positive into the universe. Um, they're, I feel this is telling me that they have a kind of like a, a pure heart. Like they don't mean to upset others. Like they, they, when they speak, they, they speak more positivity than anything. Um, and with this, it manifests into something greater. It manifests, um, whatever they're speaking into existence, especially since, again, they have good intentions. Then we have believe in magic. This is actually really cool because I feel like this person does believe in magic and they um, also could be very magical. This is what this tells me. Um, so even if they haven't admitted it, I feel this is definitely um, one of their spiritual gifts is that they believe in magic and they're able to kind of um, see how magic would be possible it's kind of like they, they see um certain um how do you say like what they manifest they see that in real life so that causes them to believe in magic and there are i feel this person's probably very open-minded and they have good intentions spiritually the chariot two of feathers Three of Feathers. Whew, so gifts spiritually. Oh my gosh. It seems like they're really able to get out of a tough spot. I definitely see that. Because we have the Chariot. They have a lot of discipline and determination here with the Rhino. A lot of discipline. A lot of determination. This is also um, a major Arcana card. So this is really... Um, we're really talking spiritual here. Two of Feathers next to Three of Feathers. Um, I feel a spiritual gift this person has is able to kind of recover from heartache as well as um, making tough decisions and also able to kind of direct themselves into a new direction um, in a better, sorry, in a better direction for themselves and for the future. But overall, um, let me see what else I can get spiritually. I feel they're able to have these breakthroughs. Because um, again, I just feel spiritually this person has been really beat up um, in their life with the Three of Feathers. And they were really, really stuck. Something really uh, 
hurt them and this has caused them to kind of be very uh, strong-willed and very determined and very disciplined as well so I feel like that's why they speak with good intent as well I feel like they've had a lot of hurt and spiritually they've been hurt it's it does show me spiritually they've been hurt which is why they hide their gifts it does show me that it's it's more hidden I feel they do believe in magic but that could even be hidden and it's because of the I feel emotional distress and the mental more mental distress that this person has been through and that's why they're able they overcome they have overcome this and they're able to see the beauty in life currently as well as uh they're very determined and spiritually obviously this is a gift and this can be um taken from other people as well like seen as a role model in that sense someone who's able to persevere because also the number seven you think of seven of wands it's about perseverance um but yeah spiritually i feel this person has been through a lot and i feel one main gift here i'm getting is really just their determination and um their belief system as well how they're able to kind of keep that strong belief in magic and um not let that you know not let what happened affect their view on life and their value and you know so that was pile three i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys for so what spiritual gifts does your person have um so for our crystal mandala card we have descending power this tells me that this person i feel has a very good balance uh balance balance um kind of maybe with the root chakra because with descending power, this isn't just a, this is balancing, I feel, spirituality and practicality. It's about being able to kind of put your projects in motion. I feel this person is really good when it comes to that. Um, they have really good descending power. Um, I offer words of good intent. So these kind of go hand in hand. So they're able to kind of offer words to others with good intentions, I feel. This is what this is saying. But... It's not just, what I meant to say was it's not just orally, it's like they could pray as well. Um, however, I feel this person's definitely the type of person to offer words of encouragement to others, which spiritually um, uplifts other people, whether this person realizes it or not. Because again, I said this person will probably have some powers that they don't necessarily know about yet or kind of get. Then we have Magical Gateway, so this is about someone who's able to kind of venture into the unknown. I feel sooner or later they will definitely travel um, and kind of go through that gateway, and, and the Magical Gateway. I feel they have a lot of courage and they have a lot of, a lot of trust as well with where they go. Um, so I feel lacking confidence is something that, you know, they don't do. <laughs> So then we have the death card, which is whoa, which is about transformation and liberation. So spiritually, this person definitely has transformed, has transitioned. Um, I feel that's why they have stepped through. I feel like for a lot of them, they have stepped through this magical gateway um, because of this transformation that they went through. Yeah, look at we have love. So choice and trust i feel this person offers now a lot of love i feel everything even the words that they have the words with um good intent it's saying that they put a lot of love into this and this again is something that spiritually helps other people as well and then we have the wheel so change and possibilities so this person offers again they're constantly changing but i feel always for the better they see the possibilities in um almost everyday life which is why i'm saying they're starting to actually balance um they're having that descending power but they're able to have a calm presence and balance the spirituality as well as the practicality because again <coughs> well i just like almost choked on the air hold on 
like what so anyways <coughs> whoa a transformation will happen right well no i'm sorry that they have transformed um they again they i feel go through a lot of changes but these changes are always for the better i feel like this person's constantly growing i feel um again they have a lot of possibilities with the wheel and they're kind of this is something that they're also able to share with other people which is why um their words um really affect others because they have words of love it comes from a very loving place within them so um let's see what else we can get with our fairy oracle yeah and a lot of motivation which it doesn't surprise me so another spiritual gift this person has is motivation they're spiritually motivated it's really happening for them i see them kind of again they're stepping through that gateway and a lot of it has to do with the motivation that they have so it really benefits them a lot and not just themselves but others as well spiritually so that was pile four i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.